everybody and welcome back to another Napa STEM Academy art lesson. Today we're going to be doing a 3D hot air balloon project. When we experiment with different art materials, we dabble in science. Most importantly, if we feel good while we are creating, art can boost our self-confidence. With this art project, we're going to create a 3D hot air balloon and also learn the science behind how hot air balloons work. As usual, let's start with some vocabulary to help us better understand the lesson. 3D means three-dimensional or having three dimensions. For example, a box is three-dimensional. It's solid and not thin like a piece of paper. It has a top and a bottom, a left and a right side, as well as a front and back side. Scientific principle is a fancy name for the general rules that are followed while doing science or rules that nature tends to follow. With hot air balloons, the fact that hot air is lighter than cold air is a scientific principle. An experiment is a carefully planned test used to discover something unknown. Often in our science videos, we conduct experiments. Self-confidence is having faith in oneself and one's ability. To believe in yourself is to have self-confidence. Self-confidence is so important to feeling like you are a whole and smart and great human being. With all this in mind, let's investigate the hot air balloon a little bit deeper. Who invented the hot air balloon? The hot air balloon is the first successful human carrying aircraft. The first hot air balloon flight was performed by Jean-Francois Pilatre de Rossier and Francois Laurent de Arlandes on November 21st, 1783 in Paris, France. How does a hot air balloon fly? Hot air balloons are based on a very basic scientific principle. Warmer air rises in cooler air. With a hot air balloon, a flame is used to heat the air inside the balloon, which causes the balloon to rise up above the cooler air, which is on the outside of the balloon. Now that we have a little bit more background, let's get started on our art project. The materials you'll need for this one are five to 10 colored pieces of construction paper or scrapbook paper, some scissors, some glue, a pencil, some string or yarn, and a toilet paper tube, a strawberry basket, or paper to construct a basket. Step one, fold one piece of construction paper in half. Then, draw half of a hot air balloon from the center fold out to make your master template stencil. We will be using this stencil to make sure each side of your hot air balloon is the same. Step three, Decide how many colors you want for your balloon. You can choose between five to 10 colors. Fold each piece of paper down the middle and then use a pencil and your stencil to trace your hot air balloon shape onto each one. The flat side should align with the fold. Step four, leaving the paper folded, cut each of your pieces along the pencil line, creating the many sides to your hot air balloon. Step five, Cut one long piece of ribbon or string to glue in the middle of your balloon for hanging it up, about 15 inches, and four equal pieces, seven inches, for your hot air balloon basket. Step six, choose the order of your balloon colors and then glue one half of your first balloon color to the matching shaped side of the next color. Now, glue the other half of the second color to the matching shaped side of the third color and so on. During this step, glue two inches of the seven inch yarn or string between every other balloon section and let about five inches hang down to be used to connect the basket. Step eight, before you glue the last two sides together, glue about three inches of the 15 inch piece of yarn or string down the center of the balloons, leaving 12 inches hanging out from the top. Now, you can open your 3D balloon shape, giving your balloon a 3D illusion. Step nine, here are some basket ideas. Use your imagination to create your own basket. You could use a strawberry basket, part of a toilet paper tube, or you can make a basket with your construction paper. However you choose to make it, decorate it using some of the colors that are left from your scraps, and then attach it to the string at the bottom of your balloon. You now have a very cool 3D hot air balloon. Ready for a challenge? Using the same concept in how we made the balloon, try making some other objects. 
How about clouds in the sky? Cut a half cloud stencil, cut your five to 10 pieces, add your string to hang, and glue them all together. Now you have clouds in the sky to hang with your balloon. Let's talk a little bit more about hot air balloons in the real world. If you actually need to get somewhere, a hot air balloon is not the best way to travel. You can't really steer it, and it only travels as fast as the wind blows. But if you simply want to enjoy the experience of flying, there's nothing quite like it. Many people describe flying in a hot air balloon as one of the most enjoyable activities they've ever experienced. If you have a kinder through second grader, help the little ones get the most enjoyment from this project by having them create and trace the stencil and then cut the shapes out for them. Parents gluing string on after with a hot glue gun might be easier for younger children. If you have a third through fifth grader, have these students add artistic design to the balloon cutout similar to what we might actually see with a real hot air balloon. You could also have them create a pattern where there are two colors that alternate with the balloon design. Use your imagination. We hope you enjoyed learning how to create your very own hot air balloon today and also learning a little bit about how they work. We'll see you next week with another art video.